Hello, and welcome to Athens High School Honors Convocation. We are excited to celebrate our honor graduates of the class of 2021. Each of your remarkable young men and women. You make the right decisions and have the right priorities. We wish you joy and great success as you move forward and make our world a better place. Thank you for who you are and all you've done and know that we are very proud of you. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Scott Romanski and I am a fifth grade teacher at Barnard Elementary in Troy, Michigan. And I am also the grant administrator and a trustee for the Troy Foundation for Educational Excellence. Each year, the foundation honors the life and legacy of longtime Troy teacher Sharon Alexander by awarding the Sharon Alexander Fine Arts Scholarship. This year at Athens High School, the foundation would like to award the scholarship to Justin Estale and Chloe Upton. Justin, so many wonderful things about you came through in both your statement and your letter of recommendation. You were the president of both the Concert and Symphony Orchestra. You developed a camp during the COVID-19 pandemic to help children feel part of the music community, even from home. And you've been tutoring sixth graders along the way. Mr. Quinn, who wrote your letter of recommendation, said that you are a positive morale boosting young man with a wonderful spirit. You're honorable and you're kind. Chloe, you've been taking a variety of classes in fine arts your entire career at Troy Athens High School, and now you're putting it to good use in the real world. Your artwork hangs in the Children's Hospital in Troy, Michigan, putting smiles on children's faces, as well as Oakland University. And you're gonna be heading into the field of forensics and criminal law, which is an incredibly exciting field to study. Ms. Sordo, who wrote your letter of recommendation, said that you are a natural leader and a challenge seeker. Congratulations to both Justin and Chloe on receiving the 2021 Sharon Alexander Fine Arts Scholarship. We wish you the best, and we hope you have a wonderful career in fine arts or wherever your life takes you. My name is Doug Gruber, president of the Athens Athletic Booster Foundation. On behalf of the Boosters, it is my honor to present to you this year's senior scholarship recipients. The Athens Boosters team is comprised of parents and other community members who have a very strong interest in improving and assisting our Athens athletic programs. We do so primarily through fundraising activities the largest of which is operating our concession and grilling stand, which we hold open during our various sporting events. Each year, the booster organization is proud to provide tens of thousands of dollars in donations back to our sports programs. None of this would be possible without the volunteer efforts of our member families. For seniors, they earn points through volunteer opportunities throughout their years at Athens. A total of 35 points is required for a full $500 scholarship, with a minimum of 25 points required to earn a partial scholarship. This year, we have 19 seniors who have earned scholarship awards. The payout for these 19 awards will be over $9,000 in total. So here are the recipients in alphabetical order including the sports that they participated in. Nithia Belusu, volleyball, basketball, and soccer. Erica Buford, volleyball. Patrick Chinoski, lacrosse and tennis. Margaret Cuban, volleyball, soccer, and tennis. Andrew Dionisio, soccer, basketball, and track. Madison Dombrowski, volleyball, soccer, and powerlifting. Rachel Eckerly, sideline cheer, competitive cheer, and lacrosse. Caitlin Ferris, volleyball. Olivia Griffiths, 
softball, Nathan Hazen, football, basketball, baseball, and golf, Chloe Jones, softball, Connor Mobis, football, baseball, and powerlifting, Jack Musto, soccer, Caden Opsommer, football, bowling, baseball, and lacrosse, Michaela Pawlowski, softball, Ryan Ploss, lacrosse, Brielle Sharp, volleyball and soccer, Clara Scholes, volleyball, basketball, soccer, and tennis, and Emily Stevie, volleyball and lacrosse. Congratulations to our Senior Athlete Scholarship recipients. We have enjoyed watching you perform, and we thank you for your hard work and support of the boosters. On behalf of the entire Athens Booster Organization, we wish you tremendous success in the future. Thank you, and stay safe, everyone. Hello, my name is Danielle Buser, and I am president of Athens PTO. I am privileged to present to the class of 2021 the Athens PTO Senior Scholarships on behalf of our board and our membership. The Athens Parent Teacher Organization is a nonprofit. We are comprised of staff members, teachers, and parents working exclusively to supporting educational, charitable, and social activities within the Troy Athens High School community. We're proud to say that we're the only organization who annually supports every student and every staff member at Athens. Thanks to our generous Red Hawk families, whether it be through a financial donation, charitable donation of your time, or donating an item that we're requesting, we're able to work together to uplift our Athens community. And despite the pandemic, we have been able to work hard together and make an impact. We've been able to donate something to every single teacher, every single staff member at Athens. We've been able to make a financial donation to our educational departments, to our student clubs, to our students. We've also managed to organize some volunteers for events at Athens. We're very grateful for our involved community that come together to help us support our staff and to make such contributions to our student classrooms where they work every single day. This has been a very unique year for our class of 2021. They are gonna have stories to share for years to come. The Athens PTO is very proud of every single student in Athens. This has been a rough year and you have persevered through so much. Now to this group of Athens Honors Seniors, you deserve an extra congratulations. And we want to give you a huge round of applause. Through this year, you have excelled through so much. You have been able to shift in hybrid environments and come out on top. Since 1999, the Athens PTO has directly supported students through our grant and scholarship program. Beginning in ninth grade, students and families can work toward eligibility for these awards. This year, we have five senior scholarship recipients, and those students are Daniel Zates, Clara Scholes, Patrick Chernoski, Jessica Bryson, and Sydney Buser. Once again, congratulations to you all, and best of luck in your next adventure.
my name is Rob Holder, and I am the... Hang on one second, let me get this mask off. Um, sorry about that. My name is Rob Holder, and I am the uh, department chair for the business department. And today I wanted to recognize the three winners that we had for our business department awards this year, given to uh, students that have really, um, really exemplified what our department's about and really done a great job in our classes. Um, the first is Shreyas Aravapali. Uh, Shreyas has been a DECA officer and qualified for the State Career Development Conference two years in a row. So that's a heck of an accomplishment. He's also led the social media efforts uh, for the school store in a year that's certainly been less than ideal. He pays great attention to detail and will always look for ways to improve. Next year, Shreyas will be attending uh, the University of Michigan to study business. Congratulations, Shreyas. Our second winner, Jessica Bryson. She was a member of the school store all this, also this year and was also a key member of our social media marketing team. Uh, this year, she was also a competitor in the Western Michigan Sales Challenge. Uh, and last year, she qualified for and competed in the DECA State Career Development Conference. Uh, in the fall, Jessica will be attending Michigan State University. Congratulations, Jessica. Uh, our last winner is Erinor Chisholm, uh, and Erinor has been a member of DECA for three years, and this year he also decided to add uh, BPA as well. Um, he's been a qualifier, a, a qualifier and a competitor in the DECA State Career Development Conference every year that he's been involved, and this year he even won a medal as a state finalist, so we're really proud of him for that. Erinor is always a high-level contributor in class, as well as in the clubs that he's involved with, and it's been a pleasure to have him in our program. Uh, next year, Aaronor will be attending Michigan State University in the fall. Congratulations, Aaronor, and congratulations to all of our winners. We're really proud of you, and good luck next year. Hello, I'm Sean Dufresne. I have the pleasure of presenting the English Department Awards. For 12 AP English, Megana Gopu, Nicholas Lazrado, Joy Liao, Nathania Narte, and Ben Thomas excelled in 12 AP English. Mrs. Bergulio writes, Megana Gopu, Nicholas Lazrado, Nathania Narte, and Ben Thomas are hardworking students who did not allow this year's challenges to hinder their learning, their inspiring curiosity, and their understanding for others. Time and time again, they have proven their intellectual prowess via their ability to form complex ideas and go beyond the surface level. It has been a pleasure and an honor to have such students during such a difficult year. I cannot wait to see all that they accomplish in the next phase of their lives and beyond. Ms. Smith shares that Joy Liao is the ideal English student. She is always extending her thinking through deep analysis and her own exploration of literature. Her pursuit of knowledge will serve her well in whatever academic route she chooses to take. Next, 12 Literature and Composition. Miriam Akrawi, Margaret Cubitt, Justin Esdale, James Lee, Bennett Lewis, and Riley Weber excelled in 12 Literature and Composition. Mr. Ozma writes that Miriam Akrawi is a thoughtful and kind young woman. Her presence in the classroom is important because she is calm and thoughtful. Miriam writes well and her work is prompt and proficient. She is a wonderful student and I'm glad she was in my classroom. Mr. Ozma also shares that Margaret Cubitt is another student that made a positive impact inside the classroom this year. Her critical thinking and curiosity are traits that will help her advance in life. Her work stood out in the classroom. Moreover, Margaret is kind, friendly, thoughtful, and motivated. It has been a privilege to teach her. Mrs. Chorney writes that Bennett Lewis has been very creative with his assignments and an outstanding, motivated student. He participates in class, is original in his opinions, and he naturally leads group discussions. The quality of his work demonstrates diligence, effort, and preparation. In fact, he pushed his academic boundaries 
and was not afraid to explore new and interesting ideas, and constantly manipulated his writing to make it more sophisticated. Justin Nesdale, James Lee, and Riley Weber are my students. They are leaders in class and show enthusiasm for learning by sharing thoughtful insights during our class discussions and in their writing. In fact, they utilize solid arguments, ample evidence, and a mature perspective while always considering and respecting different viewpoints. I wish them the best of luck. Next, creative writing. Garrett Odd excelled in creative writing. Mrs. Eaton writes, Garrett Odd is a strong writer who possesses immense creativity and passion. He always puts his heart into his work and fills his pages with engaging, vivid content. From poetry to short stories, Garrett never backs down from a challenge. He is meticulous in his writing, which results in elaborate and inspiring stories that captures the reader's attention. Garrett is always willing to share his work with others, gives meaningful feedback, and is open to constructive critiques. Ms. Davis and Mrs. Eaton feel very fortunate to have witnessed Garrett's hard work and creativity. Keep writing. Next, yearbook. Madison Dombrowski and Jane Kampula excelled in the yearbook. Mrs. Bergulio writes, Madison Dombrowski and Jane Kampula are amazing editors who have worked tirelessly throughout the year to create a book everyone will be proud of. They overcame the challenges of producing content during virtual and hybrid learning simply through their hard work and dedication to both the student body and the class. I am especially proud of the personal growth I've witnessed in Madison and Jane and know, and know that no matter where they go or what they do, their work ethic and dedication to every single task they encounter will undoubtedly lead them to success. Finally, TV. Mr. Burns shares that the Thomas Butcher Award for Excellence and Dedication to Athens TV goes to Seamus Mahoney. Seamus is a talented filmmaker who won several awards this year. He will continue his career in film at the Savannah College of Art and Design. Congratulations to all of our English department honorees and congratulations to the class of 2021. The English department is proud of you and remind you, this above all, to thine own self be true. Good evening. Um, my name is Tatiana Chorney, and I am presenting the ELL Department Award um, for, and the award goes to Renato Kaushlari. I had the privilege of having Renato his first year in the United States. When he was 15, he enrolled at Athens High School. And uh, then again, I had Renato this year in 12LC. Renato represents to me the very essence of American dream. He, as a child, has experienced immigration three times over. First from US to Canada, then from Canada to Albania. At the age of nine, he had to enroll in Albanian school, learn the language, learn the culture, and then finally, at the age of 15, he moved back to the United States to live with his uncle. Um, when I found out that Renato attends schools on a regular basis, does all his work and works after school, uh, long hours, I had so much respect because he did so without his mom and dad nagging at him. His citizen, citizenship, his behavior, his motivation is truly remarkable and ambition is that ambition of a very um, bright student so we are so proud to see Renato graduate with a GPA of 4.1 four years in the country so Renato I wish you the world of success and happiness. I wish all of your dreams to come true. And most of all, I wish you to reunite with your family. Hi, my name is Jennifer McClellan. I'm an art teacher at Athens High School. I teach AP and studio art. Today, it's my honor to highlight a few of our senior artists. This year's senior AP and studio artists are Shreesti Balgalakoti, Elena Bittinger, 
Hannah Eisenberg, Shay Humphrey, Pippin Lampish, Tara Mathur, Isha Mangala, Hannah Pashi, and CJ Vallefour. The Visual Arts Department honors these students on their artistic achievements. They have put in hours upon hours of hard work and are dedicated to the visual arts. Watching this group of students grow both as artists and as people has been an honor to be a part of. I'm excited for each of them as they transition to new chapters in their lives. Please enjoy a compilation of some of their work. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Luba Sardal and I teach photography at Athens High School. Today, I have the pleasure and honor of highlighting one of our star photography students, Katie Ferris. Since Katie has been at Athens, her accomplishments in photography have amazed many people, including her amazing work at Art Prize where she was asked to be part of a live podcast and interviewed in Grand Rapids. She was also a finalist for the 2019 Woodward Camera Photo Safari at the Detroit Zoo. She was recognized at our school board meeting for her outstanding work in helping provide free senior portraits for students at Athens. She has also been awarded in our Scholastics Art Competition in Michigan, and her art filled our district and hallways and really just motivated other students uh, to excel in photography and learn about photography. So congratulations, Katie Ferris. We will miss you and we look forward to seeing your accomplishments in photography in the years to come. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Adrian Covian, and I'm the director of choirs here at Athens High School. It is my great pleasure to announce this year's recipients for the Outstanding Choir Member Award. These young ladies have shown commitment, initiative, and great leadership skills during their time with the Athens Choirs. Please join me in honoring Sydney Cott and Lindsay Stanza. Congratulations, ladies, and best of luck in the future. The Michigan School Band and Orchestra Association is proud to announce the Scholar Instrumentalist Award. This award is meant to recognize those young musicians who achieve both academically as well as musically. This award is given to a student for their outstanding accomplishments 
in both music and academics. MSBOA recognizes this award winner's long history of both superior and excellent division ratings at both state and district Solon ensembles. This year, the MSBOA Scholar Instrumentalist Award goes to Joy Leao. Each year, a senior from the Athens High School Symphony Orchestra is selected to receive the National School Orchestra Association Award. This award is given in recognition of singular merit and outstanding contributions to the success of the school orchestra for displaying an unusual degree of loyalty and cooperation and for demonstrating the high standard of conduct that is the aim of the school orchestra program. This year's recipient of this award goes to two individuals that embody that philosophy. I am proud to give the National School Orchestra Award to Patrick Chinoski and Nithya Balusu. I will now present the National Aryan Foundation Award for Orchestra. This student is receiving this award based on his contribution to our musical organization, his performing ability and musicianship, and his demonstration of personal and professional qualities in keeping with the school's high standards. This year, I am proud to give the Aryan Award to Benjamin Thomas. I would also like to recognize two additional students for their devoted service to the Athens Orchestra. Their contributions to this group have directly led to its many successes, both inside and outside of the classroom. Their dedication to meeting the traditional high standard of performance, both individually and by the entire ensemble, is at the root of this recognition. The Director's Award goes to Justin Esdale and Jessica Mitchell. I would also like to acknowledge the senior students who are receiving scholarships to continue their music education at the postgraduate level. These five seniors applied and received scholarships through our boosters, the Athens Orchestra Parent Association. Congratulations to Audrey Apahidian, Patrick Chinoski, Justin Esdale, Tim Soria, and Benjamin Thomas. At this time, the band program is excited to recognize a handful of our dedicated class of 2021. First off, the Ariane Award recognizes the top student musician in the band program. Congratulations to Jenny Dibley. The Patrick S. Gilmore Band Award honors an outstanding student's achievement and commitment to the band program. This award will go to Mitchell Court. The John Philip Sousa Band Award recognizes the top member of the band program. This goes to our senior drum major, Benson Stockdale. The Woody Herman Jazz Award recognizes an outstanding jazz musician in the senior class, and this goes to Hannah Pache. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award is for the top jazz musician at each school. We're excited to give this award to Dean Capala. And last, there are three director's awards given to students who have gone above and beyond what has been asked of them over the years. We're excited to give this to Melissa Matichuk, James Lee, and Sarah Sheck. Congratulations to all. Every year, the Mathematics Department selects outstanding students to receive the Athens Mathematics Award. Students are selected for the award based on several criteria, including teacher recommendation, excellence in mathematics, excellence in computer science, achievement in math club competitions, and contribution to the tradition of mathematical excellence here at Athens. For our first math award, we honor Palomi Day. Palomi. I just wanna thank you for walking through that door back there um, and entering the Troy School District. Um, I remember the, the day exactly that you came in and introduced yourself um, and just proved that, that girls should never be afraid to be smart. Um, you are the epitome of that quote and um, we couldn't be more proud. Palomi, I can't think of anyone more deserving of this award. In my class, I think you had an A plus for every assignment every test, every quarter, and every semester for the entire year. You have a brilliant mathematical mind and you never shy away from a challenge. You may be quiet, but I think that's because you're always thinking. You're a great problem solver and an extremely hard worker, but you're also great at explaining and helping others. I can't wait to see where you're headed. And I know that your work ethic, your kind and helpful personality and your amazing problem solving skills will take you far in life. Plumi, I'm so proud of all the time that um, that I had with you. You were such a great student. Um, stats is a completely different mathematical concept, and you rocked it. Um, from beginning to end, I, I 
you had A pluses, just like Ms. Stefanski said. Um, you were great at everything you did. You helped everyone around you, which in stats is definitely something that's, that a teacher looks forward to. Um, it's a tough subject and you just did an awesome job with it. And that's obviously why I gave you the stats award from at last year. I'm so excited to see what you do in the future. I can't wait to see what you become and all the great things that you're gonna do in this world. Congratulations, Palomi. It was an absolute pleasure to have you in class last year. Uh, obviously you're an amazing student, but uh, even more impressive is you are an amazing young lady. Um, it was just a real pleasure to be your teacher for a year. And I really look forward to hearing about all the things you do and accomplish. So please keep in touch. Hello, me. I've been so lucky to have, the, have you this year. I remember you sent me a message and said, hi, I've been forced into your class because I ran out of other classes to take. So they put me in yours and um, you've really never missed a beat and I've been luckier for it. You always have a smile and a wave and a hello on Zoom and it just makes my day and you, you have not struggled and I'm excited to see where you go and what you do and uh, the pleasure of having you has been all mine. Our second math award goes to Matthew Lindgren. Matthew, I had you in algebra two and it was such a joy. Um, I absolutely loved how you took all of your notes on the iPad. I'd never seen another student do that and it was amazing. You definitely taught me a thing or two, uh, actually a lot of things um, about that iPad and, and all the great things that you could do with it. Um, it was very, very impressive. Uh, not only were those skills that you had impressive, but your mathematical skills were off the charts. Um, you were a great problem solver. You worked so well with everyone around you. Um, you, you helped out anyone you could uh, and you did it with a smile. You were so enjoyable to have in class and I'm really excited to see what you do in the future. Matthew, you were a rock star in pre-calculus. I so much enjoyed being your teacher and getting to know you. I think I may have learned more from you about technology than you learned from me about pre-calculus. I also love talking about dogs with you and hearing stories about your puppy, Finn. Congratulations, I wish you all the best. Matthew, I was so lucky to have you in AP Computer Science A. You never shied away from any challenges, any of the problems, but as good as you were at computer science, which I know and I hope you continue to pursue, you're actually a better person. Uh, probably people don't know this about you, but you actually volunteer your time to go back with your elementary school teacher every week. Um, and you don't advertise that. The only reason I know that is because my son told me and it just goes to show what an amazing person you really are. And I can't wait to hear what you do and what you become and where you go. Matthew. Not only have you been a Calc All-Star from start to end, uh, you are also someone who I always look forward to chatting with about anything and everything. I'm also pretty sure that you are the most meticulous student on this planet uh, in that you have your own font that should be on Microsoft Word and also that you could really make a killing uh, by selling that digital notebook of yours to my future Calc students. I wish you nothing but the best. Next year and beyond, uh, the computer science world is so lucky to have you. Um, we talk about your notes as, as a math department several times, and I want to be the first one um, to pay for your electronic files of your um, statistic notes, your AP stats notes, because, uh, you know, me, um, I, I've said it over and over again, just this being my first year of teaching it, I have learned so much from you and um, the corrections that you make on your assignments just show uh, the type of student that you are and the type of person that you are, that you're hardworking, uh, very motivated and very mathematically minded. Um, but even more so of any of that, um, I, I too just enjoy the conversations that we have. Um, this has been a tough year uh, for everyone this year and you always have a smile on your face and are willing to um, you know, laugh at our jokes and uh, keep us going as teachers, students like you. So thank you and congratulations. Congratulations to our award winners. 
You both exemplify the type of outstanding problem solvers and exceptional scholars that we strive for here at Athens. We look forward to hearing about all of your accomplishments. We hope you will keep in touch and we wish you all the best in the future. How y'all doing? Coach West here. Uh, I have the privilege to present our male and female senior awards for PE. And both of these individuals are hardworking, dedicated, very good in the PE setting, uh, but they also are team players, respectful, and just overall good people, which is really kind of what separated them from the rest of the pack. And this year's male uh, senior award goes to Connor Mobis. Connor has taken multiple PE classes here at Athens and uh, took strength and conditioning in the fall and then weight training in the spring. And he used his lifting knowledge that he learned from strength and conditioning and the power lifting and took it into weight training in the spring and really helped out a lot of kids that were struggling uh, technique wise, you know, learning the proper ways to squat, bench and deadlift and selflessly um, shared his knowledge all the time. And then for the freshmen that are new to the school, um, new to PE and then just new to learning how to be in a COVID situation, uh, very shy and timid. Connor, when we had pickup games at the end of class, he'd bring them right in, uh, no questions asked. So Connor is a phenomenal young man and it was a privilege to have him in class. Our senior female award goes to Ashley Jones. And Ashley, again, is a student that took uh, strength and conditioning in the fall and developed her knowledge and skill set and really fell in love in the fitness world. Um, she then <laughs> had the courage to try out and go out for powerlifting, did amazing, finished in the top 10 at States, and really strength and conditioning has changed a lot of her career path. She's going into the fitness world where she'll do phenomenal things. Um, she's going to have some huge accomplishments there. I started working on her personal training certificate in the strength and conditioning class and is continuing to do that. And uh, we are very excited to see that growth and development in Ashley this year. And it's just been a privilege to have her in class. Welcome to room 212, home of GBBE. My name is Rachel Peterson, and I have the distinct honor of announcing the 2021 Outstanding Biology Scholar. The road to becoming the Athens Outstanding Biology Scholar begins freshman year in Biology A. This individual immediately stands out among their peers as they express a strong passion to gain the very deepest understanding of the life sciences during their time here at Athens. In the years to follow, they continue to achieve academically at the top of their class as they pass through the doors or zoom in to study courses such as anatomy and physiology, forensic science, environmental science, genetics, bacteriology, biotechnology and embryology, and ultimately advanced placement biology. They nurture their passion for learning biology by engaging in thought-provoking discussions, inquiry-based laboratories, and approach new challenges with focused determination to develop intelligent procedures for successful outcomes.
incredibly difficult every year to pick people to win this award. This year was no different. We had a lot of amazing students to choose from, but none more qualified for the recipient of this award than Matt Henry. Matt has taken regular AP and organic chemistry and received really high scores across the board in all of them. You know, Ms. Moss couldn't be here today to talk about his performance in AP specifically, but I spoke with her yesterday and she sends Matt her best wishes and wanted me to say how amazing he was as a student last year in her AP chemistry course. I personally have had Matt twice, once in regular physics and once this year in organic chemistry back in the fall. Matt is absolutely one of the most enthusiastic learners I've ever taught. He would come to class early, he would always have his camera on, and he would constantly seek out opportunities to learn and explore in chemistry. Matt did every lab he could at home and came in just a couple weeks ago to finish a lab he started in October. He couldn't finish it back then because the school got shut down due to the pandemic, but he was the only student who wanted to come in and actually finish it now at the end of the year just to see if it had worked. Matt is a tremendous student and one of the few reasons why teaching this fall was really, really fun for me as an educator and for that I'm really, truly thankful. So thank you Matt and on behalf of myself and all of the chemistry teachers, congratulations on this amazing award. Each year the Athens Physics Department selects an outstanding physics student. Criteria for this award include the number of physics courses taken, grade point average, leadership in physics related clubs, inquisitiveness, attitude, and the dedication of understanding physics. This year there were many exceptional science students to which I would have been proud to present this award. To be recognized at the top of such a award is truly something special.
for their achievement and dedication to the social studies. These students excel in academics and social experiences. Their commitment goes beyond the classroom to include activities at the local, state, and or national level. Their character exemplifies patriotism, citizenship, and volunteerism. Two graduating seniors are honored with this award each year. Our first recipient is Harshini Chandrasekharan. Harshini is an intelligent and ambitious student who is passionate about learning. Like many of our students, she is successful in the classroom, but it is what she does outside Athens that sets her apart. She uses her classroom learning as a foundation as she strives to make a lasting impact. From attending and engaging in town hall meetings to volunteering for political campaigns, Harshini has shown a true passion for civics and government. As she became increasingly interested in economics, she applied business and economic principles to address real world problems ranging from wealth and income inequality to community development and growth. As a teacher, I could not be more proud of Harshini and her desire to translate her learning to real world action. She has used her time at Athens to better understand how the world is and now focuses on what it can be. And our second recipient this evening is Benson Stockdale. had the pleasure of learning alongside Benson for the past four years, first as a freshman in world history and now as a leading senior in AP World. Benson sets himself apart from his peers with his passion for knowledge and refusal to accept the status quo. Benson is not afraid to hold and further an argument by adding challenge and critique to the ideas of the text, his teacher, or his peers. However, an equally impressive and notable trait is Benson's social awareness. I can always count on Benson to fill a quiet space with a daily dose of wit and charm. Benson is the kind of student you want to teach to. He truly adds complexity to the thesis. Benson is a proud Red Hawk, an exemplary member of the Troy community. Benson balances multiple AP classes, holds down the brass section and band, is actively involved in his church, and works part-time at a local restaurant, a modern-day Renaissance man. Good luck, Good luck. Hi, the Senior Honor Award recipients for Chinese are Cindy Tan, Sarah Fisher, and Linia Fogo. Cindy Tang completed her Chinese AP course in her junior year with an excellent academic performance. And this year, Cindy also served as the president of our Chinese club and the VP of National Chinese Honor Society. Cindy, thank you for your commitment in serving Chinese class and our Chinese community. Sarah Fisher and Linia Fogel will complete their Chinese AP course this semester. As non-heritage learners, they try their best all four years at Athens to achieve the AP level. Cindy, Linia, and Sarah, I'm really, really proud and really honored to be your Chinese teacher all these years at Athens. Jia Hui, Fan Hui, and Ruo Ying. 真的很高興這四年能夠當你們的中文老師,希望你們能享受你們的大學生活,能夠有一個美好的人生,再見啦。Hello, my name is Mina Mori and I teach Japanese at Athens High School. Today I would like to honor two seniors from the class of 2021. One is my AP student, Shushti Bagakolti. I'm very proud of Shristi. She stuck it out all these five years studying Japanese. She is very fluent in speaking the language. Her understanding of the language as well as the culture is honorable. Shristi has studied very hard and she has also participated in speech contests and also in quiz bowls. Her team has taken second places, first, first places and second places in her speech contest. I believe she took second place. And so I would like to honor Shristi and tell her omedetou gozaimasu. And also from the class of 2021, 
in my level four class is Sarah Markov. Sarah has studied Japanese very hard also. She has participated in many ways in Japanese culture. She went to Japan for the summer um, between her, I believe, sophomore and junior year. She had received a scholarship and went to Japan and lived with the host family. So now she has a family in Japan and attended high school in Japan. Sarah also participated in quiz bowl as well as speech contest. She studies very hard and she is, has always been a straight A student. I want to say omedetou gozaimasu to both Shristi and to Sarah. Thank you for your hard work and thank you for participating and doing your best in all that you can for Japanese class. Sotsugyo, omedetou gozaimasu. Kore kara daigaku demo ganbatte nihongo o benkyou shite kudasai. Mata itsuka nihongo de takusan o shabedi shimashou.